citizens, people of the free world. It's time for everyone to shut up for one minute, for one second, and listen about a thing that you need to know about. And it's called democracy. Manage democracy. Free democracy. True democracy. Outstanding democracy. And I'm getting really offended that people are not taking it seriously. So you know something? We need to bring it into real life. Hell divers, I'm proud to introduce to you someone who knows about freedom and liberty and justice and democracy. None other than the purveyor of truth and safety and has taught us about the Darwin Awards. Give it up. You know him. You love him. Brent Herrera, the real life hell diver shotgun. It's time to watch this video. But listen, if you listen to me. You hip cool cats. Do you want Do you want those those bugs or those automatons to hear you? Do 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 you believe in them? Because let me tell you something. If you truly do believe in democracy, if you truly believe in liberty, patriotism, freedom, justice, and more democracy, in the original description box, you will support the original content creator. That's if you do. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to us too, of course, because that's cool. And hey, we got a Discord page and Patreon page too. So yeah, do that. Do all of that if you believe in democracy. That's if you do. But until then, grab yourself a freedom sandwich. Grab yourself a democracy beverage. And let's get ready to play this video in a three, a two. And democracy manifest. Oh. We're gonna have to reinforce Eli. Calling it reinforce. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about the UTS 15, 12 gauge shotgun, or as you may know it better, the SG8 Punisher. One of the many tools available to you from democracy's arsenal if you make the most important decision of your life and join the Hell Divers. Yes, I agree with that. The only good bug is a dead bug. I don't like them because they're different. They got six legs. They got bug eyes. I don't want to talk to them. Do you? Yes. More. More. Yes. Yes. Glorious. Glorious. Go. Smells like freedom. If, as it should be. If you have been grinding Helldivers 2 in your free time as well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're going to like it here. We do a lot of gun breakdowns and stuff like this, and we never get into politics. If you don't know why that's funny, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Anyhow, I don't get much free. By the way, all the best to him on his campaign. Seriously, seriously, good luck to you. Free time these days. I've kind of got a few things going on. But when I do get a couple minutes free, I love blowing off some steam and playing the new game Helldivers 2 with some of my friends. One of the earliest shotguns I got in the game was the SG-8 Punisher, and I honestly still kind of run it sometimes. It's it slept on. It's a good fucking gun. But I couldn't help but notice it bore striking resemblance to the UTAS UTS-15 12-gauge shotgun. I don't think it's really a stretch to say that this was obviously what the developers modeled that gun on. It's got a couple variants in the game, uh, the SG-8 Punisher, the SG-8 Slugger, I think. It's like a variant that, you know, shoots slugs. But as soon as I started playing with it in the game, I noticed two things. One, it reminded me how cool these things look, and two, it reminded me I don't own a UTS-15, and I need to correct that. So I bought it, and it is a, <laughs> it is a massive piece of shit. First off, what is it and why is it? Oh, it is? Really? I had hope. No, I mean, wait. It's a trick. You don't want the enemies of democracies to, to, to know any of our weapons are bad because that's that is propaganda. Does it look like this? I mean, this thing's a bulky fucking shotgun. Well, it is a dual tube fed pump action shotgun. 
What does that mean? Well, you see these two little things here? This is where you can load the shotgun in two distinct tubes that go up along the sides of the gun above the barrel, which is kind of cool. It's a neat feature because this little lever here allows you to switch between the tubes. Meaning if I wanted to run slugs in this and buckshot on this side, I could easily do that. Or if you wanted to go flechettes on this side and dragon's breath on this side, because you can't enforce the Geneva Convention when you're on fire, you can do that. But those two tubes lead into our chamber here that then feeds into the gun and you are ready to spread managed democracy one round of 12 gauge at a time. Now, Good. spreading managed democracy isn't all about smashing a couple bugs. Somewhere in your distinguished combat career, you might find yourself up against the automaton threat. No, yeah. the automatons. Oh, this isn't literally just a bust from Terminator. Look, if the devs can get away with it, so can I. And since we spoiled you a little bit on the gyro jet, we don't have ballistic high speed here, but we do have Eli with our high speed. It's like the Walmart version. Opening up a can of Liberty in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, crap. He dead. He dead. That'll do it. That'll do it. Only worked that well in the game. That is no longer a threat to Super Earth. That's oh. metal as fuck. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Let's go see it. And the cords are what ripped it together. <laughs> it's like a bolo. Whoa, hold on. YouTube rewind time. Back when that used to mean something. Whoa, look at that. Dude. There it is. Right there in the chin bone. That is beautiful. YouTube rewind time. Do it again. Yo! Pretty badass. I approve. It almost came forward a little bit in the front. <laughs> That's fucking cool shit. That's gnarly. Here's a piece. That's like a piece of neck. Where's his dentures at? <laughs> his teeth are the same color as these fucking rocks. These are actually human bones. <laughs> I was finding like other pieces of jaw out here that aren't that one. <laughs> this would be the best place to just hide a skeleton. It's just out in, out here at the ranch. Shush, shush, shush. Don't self-snitch on yourself. Don't you know the government's spying in on us now? So Helldivers is for sale. You can go on Steam and buy it right now. But you know what really sucks? Is that your personal information is out on the internet available to buy right now. Data brokers out there will sell your personal information to scammers, spammers, or anybody else who might want to target you. Your full name, address, health records, or your relatives. It's all out there on the internet. That's why I personally use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me what data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests on my behalf. Not only does this cut down on the spam you get, but it also can help protect you from hackers that can get into your personal information, your social media accounts, bank accounts, whatever. Especially if you just saw that data breach that happened with AT&T, where 73 million current and former customers information ended up out there on the dark web for sale. They recommended that those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Aura does all of that for you. And you don't have to download a bunch of different apps just because one company couldn't keep your information secure. I know I value my privacy and you probably do too. So you can go to aura.com slash Brandon to start your two week free trial or use the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate Aura for being the sponsor of this video. Back to Helldivers. Um, Look, I have a VPN, of course, and, um, you know, shout out to the fat electrician. I got that delete me app. Uh, and I got to tell you, folks, I, I, am, I am not an important person. But the fact that it put the fear of God in me, let's just say delete me did his job. So, look, 
check out Aura. Like you got a lot of companies out there that are trying to protect us. The internet can be a beautiful place, but it's also a very violent, brutal, and unforgiving place as well. Okay, it's fifty fifty. Protect yourselves at all time. Your privacy, your security, your family's safety is important. So, the original link to this video in the description box below. So, if you love democracy, you'll support Brand Herrera. If you love freedom, liberty, and democracy, you'll check out Aura and do all that good stuff to protect yourselves, as you should. Trust me, it doesn't take a lot to really scare me, scare me, but this, it was like, oh, now that's a no bueno. Now, one of the best parts about Hell Divers is, ironically, team killing. Oh, uh, that is that is an urban legend for democracy. Oops. It was one time, get over it. In fact, team killing is such an integral part of the game that the devs have repeatedly refused to get rid of it because, quote, it's fucking hilarious. Ah. So what we're gonna demonstrate here with our, not Eli, is what it looks like when you team kill your buddy with the SG-8. Spoiler alert, you're gonna have to reinforce. Spreading democracy all over the concrete in three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. yeah, some spray on that one. Dude, noggin empty. That completely blew the skull out of the head. That is disgusting. Uh, isn't team killing hilarious? <laughs> I just noticed the shirt. Born to math. Right? It's like in reference to Full Metal Jacket, Born to Kill. And hey, you got Crayola Crayons. Thomas the Tank Engine. There's something you gotta say about Marines, huh? Oh, we're all here for democracy, but oh, pardon me, your majesties. Just notice that. But in the name of democracy, I'll let this one fly. Just this once. Crayola crayons. <laughs> Let's make a joke. <laughs> it genuinely was one time. <laughs> that is vile. That is the best ballistic dummy headshot I've ever seen. Whoa! Oh! All right, I take back. Hold on, that is pretty. Whoa! Uh, how? How? Okay. What? Ah! 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 Whoa! Ho! Ho! Look at that! Oh my God! It's so ugly and beautiful at the same time. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that, that is cool. Whoa. By the way, thank you audience for showing me how to do this as a slow-mo with my keyboard. That is so awesome. Oh, cool. Look at that. All that blood everywhere. <whistles> ah, that's actually really cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you call art. Look at that. That that is that is that that is a work of art, dude. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool indeed. Look at that. All right, no more YouTube rewind time. Pretty awesome though. Just the temporary <laughs> cavity.
is ridiculous. So let's go over the manual of arms. For one, you have a AR-15 style pistol grip here. I think it's pretty interchangeable. It Not looks bad. interchangeable with any other AR-15 pistol grip. That's pretty good because this one that comes with the shotgun feels remarkably small and just shitty. But above that, we have an AR-15 style selector. So you have safe, fire, uh, basically just the same as an AR-15 selector switch. No full auto because it's, it's a fucking pump action. And no, you can't slam fire it. Be a lot cooler if you could. So real quick, show and clear. Breach is open, closing, empty chamber. When there okay. is a round in the chamber or when the gun has been pumped, uh, obviously the pump is locked, so you can't pull the trigger while it's out of battery. Something interesting about this gun, I'm not sure if I like. It's honestly pretty sketchy. Um, I'm not touching the pump whatsoever. When you pull the trigger, it unlocks the bolt. So if you had a hang fire, mm, this very plasticky top cover is going to be that's it's uh yeah, yeah. i don't know how i feel about that lacerating your jugular not a great plan anyway no. what that's supposed to do i guess is just kind of assist with the pump coming back already but let's say you didn't want to pull the trigger and you wanted to unlock this anyway. I looked for a long time on this thing and could not find it, but it is actually in the very back on the bottom. So you press this and it unlocks your pump as well. So you can use it to clear and not just have to, you know, if you got a round in the chamber that you don't want to fire, you know, find a shoot barrel. Just doing a desk pop because you can't figure out how to clear your fucking shotgun. Like I said, our lever here is what determines whether they're feeding from the right side or the left side. There is no button to pop this top cover at all. It's just kind of, you know, I guess held on by tension. Uh, so you just pop this up here and you have full access to your bolt assembly and your two tubes from the rear. That's what she said. Come on, just because I do it for Kentucky Blitz, it doesn't mean that uh, Brian Herrera, you're not gonna get that either. Come on, come on, that's what she said. That's what she said. This is your dust cover that is held in place by a shitty Hobby Lobby magnet. All the pins on this gun are kind of crudely. Yeah, Hobby Lobby is, is not a good thing. Just, you know, you don't want you want to you don't want to make something of hand me downs or from surplus stores. Just ask the crew of the uh, Titan submersible. Is it too soon to make a joke about them still? Because, I mean, I kind of like, you know. Maybe I'm under a lot of pressure to do some jokes. Oh, come on. That was funny. Put down your tomatoes. That was funny. Under a lot of pressure. Come on. It was funny. It. It's funny. It's funny. Clipped into place. Yeah. The Picatinny on this one was so bad that I tried to put an EOTech ESPS 2 on it, and it wouldn't even fit. Uh, the plastic Picatinny was out of spec, so... I use this uh, Tacticon Armament uh, red dot that they gave us mm. at uh, one of our range days. So thank you to those guys. Great lovers from what I hear. So yeah, that is how you operate the UTS-15. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. If you're fighting for democracy, you probably want some better guns than this. And you could be the one making some of those guns. Because if you're interested in getting your start in gunsmithing and weapons technology, you can check out sdi.edu down in the links in the description and in the pinned comment for Super Earth. Of course. Now, one of course. the components that Hell Divers also adds to shotguns is the incendiary effect. Really useful when fighting bugs. But to replicate that a little bit today with our UTS 15, we have a little bit of Dragon's Breath that has a little bit of a uh, oomph behind it. Let's go ahead and use it to take out our target. No, the, the paper, not Eli. There you go. Torching him in three, two, one. For freedom. God damn. I love how we didn't set the, the target on fire, but we set the uh, the railroad tie on fire behind it. Yes. Bad boy, no. Oh, that's a spicy little nugget in there. LaCroix to the rescue. Yes. Oh, wow. You're getting slow-mo. There you go. Not setting Desperado on fire, brought to you by Microtech. Oh, wow. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> just you see that spread just hitting everywhere. Aww.
Man, that is the most patriotic shit I've seen all day. Yeah. <laughs> so after spending a full day with it, what do I think of the UTS-15? <laughs> it's a piece of, it's, it's a piece of shit. So when FPS Russia did a video on this years ago, uh, that, that's the only experience that I really had with the UTS. The original. The original. It was a fun channel. Don't cry that it's over. Smile that it happened. And remember, he was a good friend. A Russian friend for us all. He made sure to eat good American hamburgers all the time. S15, I've never shot one or anything like that. So like going into this, that's the only thing I could draw from as far as uh, what to think about it. In that video, he had three UTS-15s uh, on site available to film with. He needed all three because two of them broke or went down while filming. So we babied this today. Uh, we made sure we weren't too rough with it. Uh, if we had any sort of failure. That's what she said. Whatever, we didn't just beat it open because we were worried it would break. That's what she said. Because this is very, very plasticky. I mean, like, you can physically see, you can grab the sides of the shotgun, and I'm not pushing that hard at all like it is just very it, yeah it feels like shitty plastic is what it feels like like your dust cover here that's despicable and even though we babied it a bit we still did have malfunctions i'm scared i'm gonna break this fucking thing <laughs> yeah that's uh that doesn't feel sturdy at all there you go no. It would be impossible to make this video on a dual tube magazine fed bullpup shotgun and not compare it to the KSG-12 because this is, this is a direct comparison. This is, it's the same picture, just fucking worse. Despite the fucking bulk, they're the exact same weight I found out. And as much as we give kel shit for, you know, all the, the cheap washed up Florida beach plastic that they recycle and make their guns out of, it still feels way more solid than this fucking thing. This thing genuinely feels like it is an airsoft chassis to a shotgun. Oh my God. As the best comparison I can make. As a joke, I was gonna drop it, but I was genuinely afraid to break it. So yes, if you want to do Helldiver LARP. You, well, if it's a shitty gun, drop it. Hey, we could, uh, I don't know, fly it over to Chicago. I'll throw it off the Sears Tower for you. No, wait, don't, wait, 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 hold on. I take that back, I take that back. Get a UTS-15. If you want a 12 gauge shotgun for literally any fucking purpose, KSG-12, much better choice. And I'm real fucking confident the KSG-12 came out before that and then somehow they just didn't take any fucking notes and came out with that thing. To sum it all up, it's a Turkish shotgun that put looks above function and um, it looks very cool. And it functions like a quadruple amputee on a swim team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the UTS-15 shotgun, AKA the SG-8 from Helldivers 2. I would like to give a special thank you to my friends and fellow co-hosts of the Unsubscribe Podcast, Eli Double Tap and Donut Operator for joining me in this video. Well done. So thank you guys very much. You guys want to go home and play some Helldivers? Hell yeah, brother. Let's awesome. do this thing. I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. 20. Go. 20 what? Huh? What? Huh? That's the year held I ever set. 2185 and we're still using buckshot. 2185 is when they finally figured out how to make this thing run right. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Full democracy! Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us Putin's rise to the top But I can't let you get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck Gotta wash it off uh, after all the... Look at the the bloody condoms again. Again, bloody condom in your brain. Perhaps not 100% anatomically correct, but it, it... Hey, the bloody condom. At least he's more safe than fresh and fit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to throw that joke in there. Anyway, so what have we learned here? We learned that democracy is not something to be made fun of. We learn that freedom isn't free, that justice must always be justified, and that liberty must always be liberated. So, shout, I mean, obviously I wasn't really well, uh, well aware of uh, just how the UTS-15 really sucked, and I guess the Helldiver shotgun just didn't have what it took to do the job and not no B. But, hey, that shouldn't stop any of you from fighting for democracy. If you've been playing Helldivers, and I've been noticing a lot of comments in my Discord, as well as on our uh, 
YouTube videos that we've checked out in regards to Hell Divers. You guys keep on saying we need more cowbell and we need more democracy. And Hell Divers, we will deliver. And uh, check it out. You get Bran Herrera plus Hell Divers. How does that not equal awesome? What would be equal more awesome is maybe, I don't know if there's any other kind of related firearms or munitions that. Brandon, you yourself should fire, but I know you, you got you got a tight schedule, so keep your head on a swivel, drink water, all the best to you. And to all you beautiful people, please support Brandon Herrera. It's the right thing to do for democracy. You know, there is a link to the video in the description box below. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the ring bell notification for us. That way you're made aware when we go uh, ahead and upload some content in there. Check out our Discord, check out our Patreon, and uh, fight for democracy. It must be you. Who else is there?